Hi, welcome to my uh, tutorial on how to improve your wireless connection throughout your house. To start off, you need to know your IP address of your router. This can be found on the bottom of your router, or if you cannot access your router, or you cannot be asked, you can find it if you're on Mac OS X by clicking on Spotlight, going to Network Utility, <coughs> loading it up, clicking on Airport, and you can see your IP address here. You want to change that last digit to a 1 normally, and if that does not work, to 254. Uh, if you're on a Windows, click the start, which is down here. In the box, type CMD, hit enter, command prompt will load up. What you then want to type is IP config, like that, and hit enter, and you will see a load of information come up, and you will look for default gateway. This will be your IP address for your router. So once you have that, in CMD, you can type ping and then your IP address, like so. And if you're on Mac OS X, you can click ping here and put your router's IP address. First of all, you want to check that you actually have a problem with your wireless internet and it's not an internet problem itself. If you look here, you can see the ping of the router wirelessly. Uh, this should definitely be under 5 millisecond uh, at the most. I'm quite far away from my router at the moment, so I'm getting 4 millisecond. Uh, spikes at the moment. Generally, I do have about two to one millisecond when I'm close to my router or in a room adjacent to where the computer is. So once you've done that, you want to go to Safari or Internet Explorer and type your IP address of your router in. Once this page is loaded, um, you want to log in if it has not already asked you to. Uh, you make a box that comes up. The login will be admin and password or admin and admin, depending on what your router is. Uh, to log in, I have to click onto the page here. However, um, you'll see you want to look for your wireless setup. Sometimes it's called wireless setup, or just wireless or channel and SSID, as you see on this Belkin. If I click onto this, you can see my wireless settings here. You've got the wireless channel and the wireless mode. These are the two important things that you want to check. You want to check that your wireless mode is on 802. 0.11n if you do have this on your router. If not, your router is probably quite outdated and it may be a good option to go and buy a new router. This um, On this Belkin, this goes up to 300 megabit per second on the wireless. Some routers only go up to 150 megabit. So once you select this, um, you know that you're on the highest wireless mode. Uh, next thing you want to check is the wireless channel itself. Uh, I'm on channel 6 at the moment. Uh, I find that's quite clear. What you might have to do is change the channel and keep changing the settings to see which one's best for you and you can use the ping to check which one's the lowest ping and which one's more stable. Generally they'll be set on auto which can sometimes cause problems because it will automatically check the channel when you turn the router on and you may get interference on that after turning it on. So that doesn't help. Um, so once you've done that you hit apply your internet will drop out for a second, your wireless, and it will reconnect um, with the new channel, and then you can test it. Another thing that you can change as well is the security. Uh, sometimes they'll be set to WEP or WPA1, uh, uh, but I tend to use WPA2. I find that your computer connects a lot quicker with this setting, and you get less problems and less dropouts with it. So you may want to change that as well. You just want to make sure that all your computers are compatible with it. Um, best option is just to change it and check everyone can still connect. And once you've done that, hit apply again. And your router will probably restart that time. I recommend keeping an Ethernet cable handy whilst doing all this. In case you do change the wrong setting and your wireless turns off completely. And then you'll have to go and connect wired to your router to fix it. Hopefully now when you go to network utility or command prompt and you ping your computer, your router, sorry, you'll find that you've got a much better connection than you did before. Uh, if you don't, then obviously you want to keep checking the wireless channel. Um, but sometimes you'll find that the wireless channel works differently in different rooms. So whatever the most used rooms are, you want to make sure you've got the wireless channel that suits that sort of uh, all those rooms the best hopefully I've helped you out here um, if I haven't I'm sorry that I've wasted your time um, but if you need any more help please leave a comment in the comment box below and I'll try to get back to you um, if you need any more information message me or again leave a comment and hopefully I'll be doing more tutorials like this in the future to help you out with your
gadgets and stuff at home. So click subscribe if you're interested in that. Thank you for watching and hopefully you've got better internet.